Welcome to you with a new vlog. I'm about to teach a lesson, but first, Rice Krispies. I finished my lesson and I'm about to go record some really fun stuff for the vid for you guys. But first, I just lit this candle and I don't know how much I actually trust it. Like it's making weird sounds and the flame is huge. So let me show you this candle. Do you guys see how big this flame is? Interesting. So I'm just doing a quick check-in. I have filmed one video that I need to get done. I have one or two more that I need to get done today so that I can edit them and get them up or scheduled to be posted. But I am editing one of them now. I'm drinking a cup of coffee and I'm kind of hungry. So I may go eat some roast in a minute. Also, these glasses are just blue light glasses to protect my eyeballs while editing and sitting at the computer all day. So yeah, I just wanna do a quick check-in. I haven't started reading yet. I haven't decided what book I'm gonna choose. I think I have it, but I don't know if I'm feeling it yet, so we'll see. Okay, so last night I got the KitchenAid pasta attachment and I'm about to go make some pasta. So I'm gonna take you on this journey and uh, ignore this crazy. noodles. My noodles didn't work out. I think I let them cook too long. Meatballs are good though. So I think I've chosen my next read and it's going to be Save the Date by Morgan Matson. I normally read her stuff really quick so I should be able to finish this tonight. If not, I'll do it at least halfway through. Um, but I'll check in with you when I get some reading. I feel like I always end the vlog the same way. Getting a cup of coffee and then I'm gonna talk to you guys on the couch. I don't know why it's that way, but it is. Let me get my cup of coffee. And welcome to the end of this vlog. So I know I was supposed to give you guys like a reading update as I read Save the Date by Morgan Matson, and I didn't because I got very swept up in it, it got late, and I just had to finish it. So let me talk to you guys now about the book. So this book is about a family who's very large, um, there's five kids, and it is the sister's wedding, Lan Lenny or Lainey, I never could really figure out her name. And so everyone is coming into town for her wedding. Charlie is the youngest of the five siblings and she's the only one living at home. She's in her senior year of high school getting ready to decide what college she wants to go to and all of the shenanigans. This book is interesting. The mother is a cartoonist and she writes a comic strip called Grant Central Station and it's about their family and their lives and what's happened over the years. And we find out pretty quickly into the beginning of this book that the comic strip is coming to an end and that there was an issue with one of the brothers, Mike. He was in high school. I don't know like what year, but so there was a problem when he was in high school and he decided he no longer wanted to be part of the family. And so we learn about like why, what happened, what went down. And man, this wedding is crazy. Like anything that could go wrong during a wedding, does. Uh, family visitors show up that aren't supposed to. People decide to stay at the house that aren't supposed to. They get a dog because they're going to be interviewed for Good Morning America and they want there to be a dog because in the comic strip there's a dog. <laughs> so yeah, this book, everything goes wrong. They have to get a new wedding cake. The wedding planner cuts out on them. You find out that scene. That's not like a spoiler. And this other wedding planning team steps up and they handle it and it's just crazy. And on top of so, on top of Lanny's wedding, you have her her mom getting ready to retire her comic strip. Lanny's wedding is on Saturday. On Sunday, Good Morning America is coming to interview the family behind the Grand Central Station comic strip. And on top of that, our leading lady, Charlie, is trying to decide if she likes Mike's best friend, her brother's best friend, or if she might have feelings for this new wedding planner's um, grandson. So it's like everything you could possibly think that can go wrong for a wedding does. At one point they lose power, the alarm system keeps going off, the neighbor um really annoying and he doesn't like noise and he keeps coming over. So I mean it's a lot. So if you like a big 
crazy chaotic families, this is definitely the book for you. So yeah, I know nothing really happened in this vlog. I made pasta as you guys saw and I made meatballs as you guys saw. They're delicious. And then I just read and worked. And so now I'm going to leave you guys here, start a new vlog, and I will see you tomorrow. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all of the things, and I will see you tomorrow.